الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالحق بشيرا ونذيرا ربي زدني علما قال الله تعالى في القرآن الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم واذكر في الكتاب مريم صدق الله العظيم In this portion of the ayah that I have recited to you come from the chapter in the Quran called Mary or Maryam in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says O Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam mention to these people about Mary about Maryam So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about somebody and says mention to these people about this person That means this person is of a very high value. This person is of a great value. That is why the people have to follow in their footsteps. Of course, this is a very detailed topic. Therefore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about in the Quran and says, ذَلِكَ مِنْ أَنْبَائِ غَيْبِ This is from what you did not knew before. This is from the things that happened before you. That you were unaware of. So, ذَلِكَ مِنْ أَنْبَاءِ الْغَيْبِ From what you do not know, this is some of it. نُوحِيهِ إِلَيْكَ O Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم This is some of the details that we have revealed to you so that you may reveal to the people. So Mary is the only woman after whom there is an entire chapter in the Quran called Maryam. She's the only woman that is mentioned by name. Because also there was no other choice for Isa alayhi salam to be associated with a parent other than Mary being called by her name. All of the prophets, if you look at the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that woman of Nuh, woman of Lut. And when it comes to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, called, O Prophet, tell your woman. Or, the mother of the believers. But Maryam is a unique case that brings to light a lot of the things that are happening in today's society. If you look back at the life of Mary, or Maryam alayhi salam, she raised Isa alayhi salam, Jesus, as a single parent. Facing all hurdles of life by herself. The birth was a very unique birth. <coughs> that Mary is secluded. Praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. An unknown man walks. And of course, as any person with some decency and modesty will be shocked. Why is a stranger walking into this place where everybody is aware that I has to worship, I have to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. So she stops him and says, Oh, if you're afraid of Ar-Rahman, the most merciful, stop there where you are. I'm a decent woman, don't approach me. And the man reveals himself, saying, No, 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 I'm not an ordinary man. I'm the angel from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is Jibra'il. And I have come to you to give you the good tidings of a boy that shall be born. And right away, what is going through her mind is, I don't doubt you, but what will people say? I have never been married. No man has ever touched me. I'm an innocent soul. If I bear a child in this society, what will people think of me? And I'm an extremely obedient person. But the angel said, don't worry about it. This has been destined as your destiny. And you are given no ordinary boy. This boy will be the prophet and the messenger. Will be given the book. And this will be the word from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To the people so that they may get, be guided. She believed. She conceived. When pregnancy was showing off. 
she went in seclusion, sat by a date palm tree, and she's worried. What will happen if I deliver this baby? What will people think of me? How will I respond to all these questions? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends the same messenger over. A voice calls upon a familiar voice that came before and said, Don't worry, wherever you are sitting, just shake the tree and dates shall fall on you. You must eat them. And here you go. Here's a spring of water by the mercy of Allah. Drink from it. All these miracles are happening. Why? Because when Allah picks somebody for a job, He makes things easy. That's what we don't understand. Sometimes we get worried about the worldly affairs. How will this going to happen? Well, you don't control it. You don't control these things. Some of the poorest people that you can think about, their kids went to Harvard. And you look, you wonder like, how? It's a pretty expensive school. How can they afford to do that? But when he wants, nothing stops. So when he wants to do certain things, so have, believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's what Mary did. She believed in him. That's why the angel said, if anybody ever asks you a question, Mary, just say that I am fasting. Back in those days, people used to do a fasting in which they wouldn't even speak to anybody. It would be all about dhikr. And she said, I'm fasting. Just tell that person. Don't argue. Don't get into any kind of stuff. And when the baby is born, if anybody from your city, from your community, from your family raises fingers at you, point to the baby. That's it. Your job is done. So the boy is born. She brings the boy to the city. And all the fingers are getting raised. Think about it. Just imagine. As a man... If you walk out and 50 people are pointing fingers at you, you will going to be like, oh my God. Now think about those kids who get bullied in the, in, the, in the school system. They may be bullied by like three kids, but their stress level is so high. People who get bullied at workplace, handful of people may be bullied them. And this woman alone with a newborn baby walking into the city and all the fingers are pointing at her. Mariam, what is this? Your mom was a great woman. Your dad was the imam of the masjid. What's wrong with you? Where did this boy come from? What did she do? She believed in Allah. She pointed at the finger, at the baby. And everybody's like, Mary, are you out of your mind? You think this little boy will going to speak to us? And will going to be a witness in your favor? And the boy spoke. And the boy said, Inni Abdullah. I'm the servant of Allah. Open the chapter of Mary. Read those ayah. Inni Abdullah atani al kitaba waj'alani nabiya waj'alani mubarakan ayna ma kunt. And this is the baby that's speaking in a cradle. Unbelievable stuff. People are moved and quiet. That's it. The witness is there. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to do things, He does them. Therefore, in the closing, I would just like to bring a couple of things here. When Allah talks about Mary, the mother of Jesus, in Surah Al-Ma'idah says, مَا الْمَسِيحُ بْنُ مَرْيَمَ إِلَّا رَسُولُ Jesus, the Messiah, the son of Mary. Notice, the only man being called son after the mother, son of Mary, is a messenger from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, خَدْ before him, many messengers came. So it shouldn't be a surprise to you. And remember, O oh people, Ummuhu wa Ummuhu and his mom, Siddiqatun, was truthful. She was a virgin Mary. She didn't commit a sin. She was righteous. In another place, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about, this is where I would like to close, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks to Mary. And says, Mary, indeed, notice the words, indeed, bitta'akid, inna Allah astafaki. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lifted you, elevated you spiritually to a place that no one can imagine. Many from the men cannot even get to that place. You are siddiqah. If you look at the four categories in the Quran, 
of the friends of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the top are the prophets, followed by Siddiq, the truthful, followed by Shuhada and followed by Salihin. But she is what? Right after the Prophet, the next possible level that a common man can achieve, Mary is sitting in that spot. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Oh Mary, in Allah astafaki wa tahharaki, purified you. وَاصْطَفَاكِ And elevated you عَلَى نِسَاءِ الْعَالَمِينَ Over the women of the world. Just like prophets are elevated from among the men. From the women when we elevate, we keep them at the status of Siddiq. And they are over all the statues the women have. So this is the Mary, the mother of Jesus. Maryam alayhi salam. Open the Qur'an and read how beautifully and eloquently Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about this woman. And there are a lot of messages to be learned from her life. If you're ever stressful, look at the level of stress Mary would have went through. Those few moments from her life when she walked into the city with a newborn baby. And she is just very, very young woman. And that takes a lot of the stress out of you. When Allah chooses somebody, He helps somebody. So if you are right, Allah will help you. أَقُولُ قَوْلِ هَذَا وَأَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ لِي وَلَكُمْ وَلِسَّائِرِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ فَاسْتَغْفِرُوهُ إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ